Hello, so I'm going to show you how you can translate a website into a different language. Specifically, if you wanted to translate our BCSE eLearning Day website into another language. So the first thing you need to do is be on a computer device. Now this can be a laptop, maybe a child's HP laptop if you have a high school student. It can also be a Chromebook if you have a student at the elementary or middle school level. And the next thing you're going to do is you need to be opening the Google Chrome Internet Web Browser. This translation feature I'm showing you only works if you're using Google Chrome. If you try to use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox, it will not work properly because we're using Google Translate and it's not built into either one of these other web options. So you have to be using Chrome for this translate feature to work. So you'll click Google Chrome and you'll open it up and then you'll go to the BCSE homepage which is www.bcse.k12.in.us and then if you scroll down the page to the very bottom, that is where our eLearning Day link is. So you'll click there and it will open up our eLearning website here. All right, so I'm on the eLearning website. This is what it looks like. And if I wanted to translate this page, there's a couple of ways I can go about doing this. So if you're using a laptop, you can just right click and open up the right click menu. If you're using a Chromebook, you'll use two fingers and you'll click and that will open up the right click menu. You should see these options. And one of these options is says translate to. Now mine says translate to Espanol or Spanish because that's what I've been using every now and then, but yours might not have that set up yet. So you'll click this button and this opens up the whole translation menu. So what we're going to do this first time is set up what language we want it to translate to. Now by default, yours probably just translate to English. So you're gonna click the options button and you're gonna pick what language. So leave the page language as English, because that's what it is, and if you go and change that, it might mess up how it's translated. For the translation language, you can pick from this whole menu of options, and there's lots on here. Now let's say that I wanted mine to be translated into Spanish, so I'll click Spanish, and then I'll click Done. It might take it a second, because it translate, translates it, but then if you notice, all of the information here is now in Spanish. If I ever wanted to change it back, I could do options, change languages, and just pick English, translate. And now it's back. Now, if I wanted to do this in a different tab, I would have to repeat this process. But if you notice, if I right click here, sometimes the whole translate button gets blocked out. You can also do all of this by using this little icon that comes up here across your URL bar. That's how you can also configure this whole translation application. If you hover over it, it'll tell you translate this page. So if I click that, I can either click translate if I already have a language set up, or I can do options and change languages, pick whatever one I want, and then it converts it again. Sometimes it takes it a second. But if I go through here, it also changed all of those tabs. So you'll repeat that process through the whole entire website if you need to, but that's how you can translate a website from one language into another. If you have any questions or issues doing this, please let us know. We are here to help. Thank you.